Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here, and today I'm going to be showing you how I painted this landscape with just one colour. And that one colour is Payne's Grey and it's Cotman brand. If you're a regular viewer of our channel, you may be familiar with our new series on colour swatching. And we looked at several um, brands of Payne's Grey and compared them. And although Cotman Payne's Grey is student quality, it's still a really useful colour to have on your colour palette. Um, it's made up of two different blues and a black in different proportions. And that's what gives you this really dark grey. And this lovely dark grey splits out into sort of black and blues and greys with plenty of water. And that's what I'm going to be exploiting here in this demo. I'm using Saunders Waterford cold pressed watercolour paper. It's taped to my board with ordinary decorator's masking tape and my board's set at an angle of about 20 degrees. So gravity will help me paint. I'm going to paint wet in wet. So I've wet my board most of it, leaving a few dry patches so I can end up with some dry brush effects and some soft and hard edges. And then I'll start painting my scene with a tree line, um, a nice soft sky and some landscape.
Now that I've built up my scene with a row of trees, a ploughed field and some landscape, sort of something and nothing in the foreground, then I can begin to introduce some tree trunks and branches using the palette knife to scrape through the rich paint and to connect the shapes of the canopies with the ground. And then I'll continue to work on the wash, making adjustments here and there with brushes and palette knife, and then continuing to work on the trees too, until I'm happy with the scene. So I've got some nice dark tones and some lovely light values that contrast and different types of brush strokes, dry brush, wet in wet. And now I'm going to sprinkle a bit of salt across the foreground. It's ordinary table salt, fine ground, and um, the salt will repel the paint and give me tiny little blooms or blossoms. And that will give me the sort of something and nothing effect and suggest plants and sort of overgrown weeds and things in the foreground without me having to paint it. And I'm now going to, and I now need to leave it to dry. And once it's dry, I can brush any grains of salt that haven't dissolved into the paint off of the painting. And you can see I'm left with um, quite a nice looking scene. Um, if we look closely at the salt, you can see the pretty effects. They're quite subtle, but there's lovely texture there. Um, but I'm not keen on that mark there. Um, that sort of, it draws the eye and distracts from the rest of the painting. So I'm going to try and lift that. I'm going to use the brush that I call my scrubber. And it's a hog bristle brush where I've just trimmed the bristles off really short. And I'm going to use clean water and just gently, gently scrub at that mark with the clean water, dab it off with a tissue and then go in again. You can see it's faded already back to almost nothing and I'm happy with that. We've taken that distracting mark away and I think that looks, looks a lot nicer. So the next thing I want to do is to work on the trees. I'm going to just add a bit more detail to the trunks that I etched out through the damp paint with my palette knife. So I'm starting off by using a stick that I'm dipping into my paint grey paint and this will help me to define the trunks in quite a natural way. And once I've got them defined a bit better using the sharpened stick and Payne's grey then I'll go in with a rigger brush and just put in a few more definite branches and trunks but to start with I want the sketchy marks that the sharpened stick will give me.
So I think I'm going to call that finished. And using just the one colour, I've really enjoyed painting this. And it's a great exercise for learning to paint with a good variety of tonal values. From the lightest lights, which is the white of the paper and the palest washes, right through to the darkest darks, which is where uh, the paint grey is at its darkest value, almost tube consistency. I think it's a great exercise painting with one colour like this and I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun, quite challenging, but you can get some great results. Burnt Umber is another one that's great to use for a single colour painting. Um, or you could use neutral tint or any, any colour that gives you a good range of tonal values. So let me know what you think in the comments. And if you've ever tried painting with one colour like this, I'd love to read your comments. And thank you so much for watching. Please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to support the channel, then please follow the links to Morgana or my Patreon page where you'll be able to support us there. Thank you so much to everyone that supports us already and thanks to all the new supporters that have joined us recently. I'll see you again soon. Take care and happy painting. Bye.